Hello buddy, my name is Pixie and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use adjustment layers in Vegas Pro and I'll be showing you how useful it can be. But yeah, before we begin, make sure to like the video if you learned something new and let's begin with the video. So here I am inside of Vegas Pro. So here I have a single track with the video and what you want to head and do is just, you know, insert a track like this and then you can apply any effect or for example, a preset onto the track. So I'm going to be applying blur more curves for the first example. So here I'm applying blur more curves onto the track. And what you want to then do is drag composite in front of the effect. And what this will do is basically affect everything that's below the track. You just apply the effect. So this can be useful if you know you have a lot of cuts in your video and you don't want to apply a uh, blur more curves to individual parts. You can just make this sort of adjustment track and you know, you can animate your blur more curves. So you can make something like this. And then another example would be Sapphire's Flicker. So let's apply Flicker onto the track. Let's drag Composite in front of Flicker. And as you can see, everything below, you know, the track is affected like that. Now you can also make transitions with this. So if you didn't know, in my montages, I use these blur transitions a lot. And the way you can make them is by searching directional blur and applying, you know, Sapphire or BCC directional blur. But you know, once you apply it, drag Composite in front like this. And then boom, everything is gonna get affected like that. And then, you know, we can keyframe it. We can do something like this. And boom, here you have yourself a blur transition like that, which is pretty nice. Now, my final example would be a color correction preset. So here I have a color correction. Once I apply it, I can drag composite to the very front like this. And as you can see, everything will be affected like that. Now you can kind of customize this. So if you right click on the track and go to insert remove envelope, there is a mute composite level and fade to color. Now you can use mute over here. So this is like, you know, a mute envelope. So let's say you don't want the color correction over here. Uh, you would add a keyframe here, you know, two keyframes and make something like this. So color correction is visible here. And then over here, it's not visible anymore. So you can do something like this. But I hope this helped and I hope you learned something new. Anyways, this was Pixie. I'm out.